through suffering, you become closer to God because you're taking the path of Jesus and Mother Mary. Jesus had the suffering through the passion. Mother Mary had the suffering of knowing from day one that her son is going to have to save the world and it's through his suffering. And she had to carry that as a mother from day one till the day she died. My mom had been battling cancer for about 20 years. She was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 11 and had recurrences and then gastric cancer when I had my first child and um, a recurrence of cancer on my third child when I had my third child. So she has been battling cancer five or six times. And the last time is when it took a toll is when they told us that this is metastatic, there's no cure. Even knowing that she was going to pass, she would always tell us that she would outlive us all. And um, she was very strong in her faith and she felt like God, there's a reason why God did this, and he did this because so she could cook for her grandchildren. She did this so she could help us take care, that she could take care of her grandkids. And other family members were like, you know, why would God do something like this to her? You know, she's such a good person. But she never took it that way. She was never, the glass is half empty. She was always the glass is half full type of person. And she said, well, you know, one of the things is you have to be happy for every little thing. Anyone who suffers is helping to save the world. And that's what was the purpose of my mom's suffering, was to be part of Jesus' suffering, to be part of Mother Mary's suffering. But at the same time, through faith and love, they do that. And that is what Jesus did every day of his life. Mother Mary loved her son. She loved everyone every day. She did that. And so my mom did that in some respects because every day she looked at it as a blessing. <laughs>